I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. Well, good morning, everyone. I uh, drove out to my dad's farm and I want to make some dust pans. And of course, for that, I need my rake and shear. So, this is what we're going to make. So it's a pretty simple design, um, one-handed, and I'm going to be making it out of 16 gauge galvanized. And 16 gauge galvanized, I know it's weird pieces, but I'll make it fit. It won't be the exact dimensions, but I'm going to make, oh, it looks like one, two, three, four. And you know what? I got some aluminum, aluminum shelving. I'll make one out of aluminum. Let's see how good it is. So, there you go. That's kind of the idea that I do. And they're quite popular. I like it. It's built in handle, everything. So, uh, why don't we get making one? So, my basic flat sheet, I need a, a piece that is at least uh, 15 and a quarter by 21 and that's exactly what this graph is here. Boy, I've only had this piece for about 15 years. And it's, I have to cut it down to length. So let's do that. I need 15 and a quarter by 21 total. And of course this is the maximum material thickness that I can work on my and my shear is 16 gauge mild steel. Like go a little bit thicker with aluminum, but okay, so let's get this measured. Let's go to the shear, cut it up, and then I can start marking it. here one inch height so I'm going to be 
one inch from here. Okay, so I have to remove all of this, this, this. Okay, so I can go to the shear and cut these long pieces down. go to the notcher for the rest of this. Again, this notcher, it's good for up to 16 gauge too. So. I'm going to go like this one. See my lines? Unfortunately, we have to do this by hand. I can't get in there. bends. So I got to transfer these measurements to the other side. So let's get these reverse bends done first. Okay, this first one is a hem. Actually, we forgot, we got to deburr it. Makes it a lot easier when it's flat. It just takes away the one edge of the shear. This is 60 degrees. Pushed up when we try to do my 90 here. There. Yes. So I need this. Now. 
See, and that's why I can only go up three inches because of this top part. So I'm using this machine to its maxes. Now I need this to be on that side. So let's just get a little hammer. Okay, I think that might just make it now. Same thing, I gotta hit this tab so I know it's gonna go behind. And that's what that looks like. So I'll, of course, once I get onto my welder, I'll just get these together, weld it, and I'll show you. So there you go, that's one-handed and you've got a bit of a finger grip with the hem. And that's it. Here's my version of a dustpan. Okay, let's, let's make the rest of them. In fact, why don't we make one out of aluminum? Well, okay, I flattened three sides. This is uh, at least enough for me to get inside my shear. So I'm going to shear as close to here as long as I have 15 and a quarter left. I will have enough. Something tells me this might be a little, might be a little flimsy, but it'll be light. But we'll try. Okay, so I need. So I've got a good 38 inches. Well, I can make two out of this. I, I need 21, but I just shrink it up a little bit. 19, so I'm only losing, so that'll be 13. Oh, why don't we try that? We'll get... Okay, so the same thing. Let's draw all of this onto that. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but I've got it all drawn out in red again. And even my reverse is on that. So let's go to the shear and the notcher and repeat. Let's get rid of all this excess. That's my dad out there mowing the grass. My YouTube will not stop him from that. You know, instead of me making it, you know, this size, I'm going to do a full, full one. Let's see what, let's see what it looks like. So this one's just over 24 inches. So as long as I just come in three inches on either side, then it'll be the same. And these measurements coming down. So whatever this opening is, that's what it'll be. So let's just do the three inches as normal. And there we be. Some dust pans, all different sizes. Because I just went through one end and then both ends. So it didn't matter what this interior was or the height or whatever. So um, pretty easy to make these. Now all I have to do is go home and uh, plant these corners together, spot weld them. Uh, on the aluminum ones, I gotta go home and drill, and then I can use pop rivets. But other than that, uh, pretty easy. So let's head. Head back to my house and let's complete this. Well, it's the next day. I made it back home and uh, we are going to finish these off. Um, I got four steel ones galvanized that I have to weld up. And the two aluminum ones we have to rivet. So let's get these to the side. And we'll start with the biggest one first. So all we have to do is just hold this in, clamp it, and then we we'll can just spot weld it. Cut it. Now 
There you go, that one's done. And this one is about 20 years old. And it works beautiful. And that's a half a broom. So never throw a broom away. You, just, you know, I don't know what happened to the other half. Maybe I gave it away, but. So there we go. Keep keep your brooms for like this stuff. Okay, this one's done. Let's get on to the next one. And it's another one done. And obviously, you can see the penetration. That's ah, not going anywhere. There we go, that's four of them made. If you watched any of my previous videos, a subscriber gave me his cordless impact after I fixed it because he had already bought a replacement. So, uh, this is to surprise him, he gets one Farm Boy dustpan. So I'll be giving this him to him tomorrow. Okay, so let's work on these aluminum ones. Here, of course, I don't have a welder for aluminum. I have to drill a hole and pop rivet them. So that's our next mission. Okay, so for riveting, obviously we're going to need a riveter. I have an air pneumatic, but you can use a hand one. I've got some 3 16 by that looks like at least maybe 5 16 uh, rivet and they're aluminum and you can tell by taking the magnet nothing sticks to it that sticks to it that's steel so aluminum with aluminum may as well right okay so I've got my 3 16 bit let me drill it here um, I think I can get in here from this side oh yeah so I'm just going to get a little clamp, hold it at the very top, there, one side done. There you go, there's a nice, nice one for the shop, maybe I'll use it as. It's nice and light, so I'll use this for inside the house. Okay, let's get this other one riveted up here. Okay, there we go, two aluminum and a couple. That one's for this guy. Still working, wow. Okay, so there's my version of a dustpan. Pretty simple if you have a, uh, obviously a brake and a shear. But I showed you two examples making some out of a shelf, aluminum shelf. And uh, these were old galvanized pieces I had for like literally 15, maybe 20 years. So don't throw things away, even though you might not know what they're going to be for you'll find a purpose for it eventually, i.e. half a broom. Okay guys, girls, good luck with your project.